So I get asked pretty regularly about checklists and having different payloads that I personally use. And what I have decided to do in this video is kind of show you a checklist that I have made as well as some other checklists. And there are some really, really great resources on GitHub. So rather than me just remake them, I wanted to show you a couple of resources where you can go that actually have checklists and not only the checklist, but they will have like the bad characters already listed out for you and maybe some payloads depending on what exactly you are trying to exploit. So let's go ahead and check this out. So this is my GitHub page. The link is down below in the description. This will be the first link and then all the other resources will come right after it. And honestly, my little cheat sheet here is really not that great. It just is a reminder. Have I checked for authentication, session management, authorization, input? And then if we just scroll down, you can see um, cross-site scripting, API. Have you checked for um, logic errors? And it'll tell me kind of just what I need to be looking for, IDORs. And basically, it's just a reminder. Have I gone through and done all of these things? If I have, then it's time to move on. But this is just kind of a reminder. So if you're experienced and you just need a little bit of reminders, something like this might be helpful for you but if you're new i'm gonna have this right here this is going to be probably your best resource because they give you a list of checklists and guides and they are super helpful so you would just click on any single one of these and it is going to take you to that specific github page or that article and, and it's going to have things like default credential bypass and so what you would do uh, I think this exact example is telling you if you're trying to get to the admin page, uh, if you put in something like this, target.admin, usually you're going to get a forbidden, you're not going to be able to access it. But there are things you can do, like adding in this X original header or this X rewrite. And these are actually used on Port Swigger in the lab. So if you've done any of the Port Swigger labs on access control, I think it is, then you've seen something like this before. But maybe it's been a while and you have forgotten. So you can see these misconfigurations. It's listed over here under uh, default credential. You can try to access these pages. So a lot of times you just hit a forbidden and maybe you have forgotten to add this in. So these types of checklists will be really helpful. And what you could do is just come over to this side and you can just go through and look through all of these files and say, okay, I wanna do APIs. And you can click on the API and you can read through here and see what there is available. So maybe let's just say you want to try GraphQL or we could do a file upload and you're gonna click on the file upload because that's what you're looking for. And you can just come and look for the extensions that you can see if it will allow you to upload a web shell or cross-site scripting. And you can just read through these. You will be helped tremendously by looking at other people's notes and what other people have done. So you can use some of these checklists over here and see what you're able to find. There's another one over here. We have the cheat sheet and I haven't looked at this before. This is a first time for me and it is organized pretty nicely. So you can just click LFI. Maybe we find something that might have an LFI and you can read through how to do this. And then there's a linked blogs down here. So these checklists are gonna be really helpful for you in just helping you remember what to do or what you have learned. And then also reading through one of these earlier, I actually saw something that I had learned a long time ago and completely forgotten to look for it. And that's the purpose of them is to remind you, hey, have you looked through all these steps? Have you tried all of these different exploits? So sometimes people ask me, how do you remember everything? And the answer is I don't, I forget stuff just like everybody else. And I need to go back and read over checklists and notes that I have from the past as well. So I hope this is helpful. And if you have any tips, please let us know down in the comments below. We'd love to check those out. Thanks for watching.